my car doesn't really stand out all that much. I wasn't really expecting people to be wowed by a Mark VI Fiesta. And this probably isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, making this car stand out a little bit more. They're going to go really well with some of the other aesthetic mods that I've got coming in the next few weeks. And the car is looking awesome. Sorry that the content has been a little bit slow lately, but I've just been really busy. I've been away pretty much every weekend lately. I've been to a few car shows, a few gigs. I've just got back from being away on holiday all of last week. And in the last few months, I've actually changed jobs twice. But now I am back and I've got something a little bit different for you in today's video. If there's one thing I've noticed from some of the shows that I've been to more recently, it's that despite the color, my car doesn't really stand out all that much. Now, granted, some of those shows that I've been to haven't been Ford specific, and there's been some pretty crazy cars there. So I wasn't really expecting people to be wowed by a Mark VI Fiesta. But having been on holiday last week, my two best friends who also both own Mark VI Fiestas, I noticed that it doesn't really stand out that much against pretty much every other Mark VI Fiesta that's out there. So the idea is that I want to change that, not all in this video but this is hopefully going to be the start of just making this car stand out a little bit more and after discussing it with the boys ash came across an instagram account called tire wall stickers which as you'd expect is exactly what the name suggests so we shot them a message and they very kindly gave us a great deal on one of their kits in exchange for some user generated content now i understand this probably isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea and that's fine that's the whole point of modifying cars. I don't want my car to look like every other Fiesta out there. So I wanna say a massive thank you to Tywall Stickers for letting us work with them on this. And if you wanna get a set of these for yourself, then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. On their website, they do decal kits for almost any brand of tire you can want. But if you can't find what you're looking for, then they can also do a custom job. Just let them know what it is you're looking for. You could even get your business name, your Instagram tag, or even your YouTube channel name on your tires. They also have this really helpful tool for you to calculate what size of decal kit you're gonna need based on the details you enter for what size tires you have on your car. So if you're looking to get one of these, definitely check them out. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. Now, one of the reasons that we got in touch with them is because you guys will probably remember that when I got my new tires a little while ago, I actually got a slightly thicker sidewall. So these are actually a 205-45 R17 rather than the 205-40s that you'd normally get on one of these cars. Just because, especially for where I live, you get a little bit more comfort from that slightly thicker sidewall. So I thought that would go really well with these decals on there. And I've also finally got around to getting the same tire on all four corners, something that I don't think I've ever actually done on any car in the past. So I thought, why not show them off? And it's been proven plenty of times that a decent set of tires is one of the most cost-effective performance upgrades that you can make to your car. But aside from a little bit of tire shine that normally wears off after about five minutes, there's not really too much that's gonna make your tires stand out. So I guess this is just a way of letting people know what mad tires you're running on your mad car. Still not convinced? Okay then, well, let's get these in the shed, get the decals on, and then let's see if that changes your mind. So in the kit, obviously you get your decals, you get some cleaner to make sure your tires are nice and clean and you get the best adhesion, and then you have your adhesive to attach the decals to the tire. In addition to what's in the kit, you're also gonna wanna grab some masking tape, some 120 grit sandpaper. You're probably gonna need a sharp blade like a scalpel or Stanley knife and a lint-free cloth like a microfiber. Now, tire wall stickers have a couple of really great videos on their Instagram and YouTube channels, which I'll leave links to down in the description. But nevertheless, I'm gonna take you through installing them. Now, you wanna install your decals on the smoothest part of the tire. So what I'm doing is marking the center line at the top and bottom, well out of the way of the original Uniroyal branding. Then I'm just offering up the decals to see roughly how much space they take up and then marking this area using some masking tape. Next, I'm just gonna remove the decals and set them off to one side so that I can prep the area of the tire that I've just marked off. So to prep the tire ready for the decal, we need to sand down the sidewall using the 120 grit sandpaper. This is to create a key into the rubber so that the decal and the adhesive has something to bond to. And it also helps to remove all those tiny little bits of lettering from all the little messages you get on the side of your tire because those are probably gonna stop the decals from sticking so well, so you wanna get rid of those as best you can. Next, you wanna clean the surface ready to apply the decals, so brush away any loose particles, and then apply some of the cleaner, which is just an acetone, to a soft microfiber cloth, and then rub over the area where you're gonna stick the decal down. It will probably take a couple of passes with a new section of the microfiber each time. You'll know when you're done, when your nice clean bit of microfiber no longer picks up any dirt from the tire. 
Next, you wanna lay out your decals and position them exactly where you want them, and then you can hold them in place just with some masking tape along the top edge nearest the tread. This will hold the decal in place, but let you lift it up so you can apply adhesive to the underside. You wanna use a sharp blade and make a cut in between every, say, two or three letters, as this makes it easier to lift them and apply the adhesive, and the masking tape makes sure everything stays where it needs to be. Apply the adhesive one section at a time, working in circular motions to make sure you get full coverage on the back of each letter. And carefully press them down into position and keep them held for about 20 seconds. They do stick pretty quickly, but I gave myself about a minute and then peel back that mask in and they are looking awesome. Right, let's do the other side. I did the other rear tire off camera and with both of those done, they can go back on the car. They're looking great, but in typical fashion and seeing as these are called rain sports, it rained. But not to worry, let's crack on with the fronts. Now with the fronts, the process is still the same, but one thing I did decide to do differently is I decided to prep the tires outside because sanding them down just made a mess of my shed. But with that done, we could crack on and install the decals on the fronts. Okay, so that's all the decals installed, but I'm not gonna show you them just yet because the weather's horrible, the car's filthy, and I wanna wait until I can take the car somewhere really nice with some really nice views so I can get some really good shots for the end of this video and also some pictures for Instagram as well. Okay, so it's a couple of days later. The weather is looking a little bit better. It's gray, it's cloudy, it looks like it might rain, but hopefully it holds off. So I've just finished work. I managed to get the car washed last night and now on my way to a nice little spot I know to get some shots of the car. Okay, so we're here in the beautiful Elam Valley. It did rain a little bit on the way here, but it's cleared up a bit now and the car is looking awesome. So let's roll the clips. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up my little photo and video shoot, and it's pretty much gonna wrap this video up as well. So what do you guys think of this kit from Tyrewall Stickers? Is this the kind of thing you'd have on your car? And I definitely want you to let me know if after seeing this video, you're gonna get a set. I was skeptical at first, but now they're on the car, I think they are looking awesome and they're gonna go really well with some of the other aesthetic mods that I've got coming in the next few weeks. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And just before we do end, I wanna say a massive thank you to the guys at Tyrewall Stickers for giving me a great deal on this kit. And don't think I forgot about you guys, they also gave me a discount code to pass on to you. So check out the link in the description and the discount code will be down there as well. So click on that if you wanna save yourself a little bit of money, if you're gonna get one of these kits for yourself. But that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.